once I became a Baha'i, I had a lot of uh, Christians, friends of mine, who were very, very concerned about where I was headed. And so they were showing me things from the Bible that sort of seemed to be in conflict with some Baha'i teachings, which is very confusing for me because as a Baha'i, you know, we believe that uh, Jesus is the Son of God and um, that Baha'u'llah is also a messenger of God. So I couldn't really reconcile these two different things. So I got so confused about certain issues, to be honest, that I, I actually decided I had to go uh, to Israel to sort out my problem. So um, that was a, a big time in my life, for sure. Um, and I already had my degree in English at that point, but um, I was really working towards going to Israel and sorting out the problem once and for all. And, and so is this where you started your writing a book? Because you must have taken that journey now and you've written a book related to that topic? That's right. I mean, when I first started writing the book uh, about Christianity and the Baha'i Faith, the aim was really to, um, to show one point of view about the Bible, and, and that was all. And as I started to come across different views about the Bible from different Christian groups, from Seventh-day Adventists, from uh, Catholics, from um, Baptists and so on, I started to get this feel that the whole you know, world, in a sense, was in a conflict over the Bible. And um, yeah, I, I decided that perhaps it would be good to show different people's perspectives on the Bible uh, and to use that to help me resolve my questions about it. So. So was that your first book? That was my first, that's the first book I started writing and it took 16 years to complete. Uh, but it's not the first book that was published. And so what's the title of that book? That's called A Maze in Grace. Oh. And so in, and in Israel, of course, there's the holy places for many different religions. Um, many Christian holy places are there, Jewish, Muslim, and the Baha'i. So did is that a part of your journey visiting these places? Uh, Abdul Baha, who was the son of Baha'u'llah, prophet founder of the Baha'i Faith, uh, said that it's that we must not forget Christ, and he recommended that for Baha'is who go to Israel that they visit the holy places that Jesus went to, um, and the the places that were associated with his life. So when I was in um, uh, Israel, I stopped in at Jerusalem, of course, and um, visited some of the places that. Um, were important to Christianity and, and it was you know Israel was a perfect place for me to go to in that sense because you know it was the home of Christianity but it's also the world where the world center of the Baha'i faith is now so I could really you know I was right in the middle of this uh, this place of religious history yeah so it was not even just research by books you went there and felt it and had a spiritual journey definitely yeah mm -hmm.